Chapter 3 Numerical Methods Subtopic 2, Vinan Rafson Method At the end of this lesson, you should be able to find the root of an equation by using newton raphson Method. newton raphson Method is a method for finding roots of f of x equals 0 by using the successive slope of the tangent line. The method is applicable if f of x is continuous and differentiable. Figure 1 shows the graphical illustration of newton raphson method. Numerical scheme starts by choosing the initial point, denoted by x sub 1, as the first estimation of the solution. The improvement of the estimation of x sub 2 is obtained by taking the tangent line to f of x at the point, x sub 1, f of x sub 1, and extrapolate the tangent line to find the point of intersection with an x-axis. Note that x sub 2 now is nearer to the root compared to x sub 1. The process continues until we meet the stopping criteria. For the purpose of our discussion, we will keep iterating until we get two consecutive same values. Now, we have the value of x sub 1. How we are going to find the value of x sub 2? As I mentioned earlier, the tangent line at x sub 1 intersects the x-axis at x sub 2. The equation of tangent at the point, x sub 1, f of x sub 1, is y minus f of x sub 1, equals f prime of x sub 1, multiply by x minus x sub 1. To find the intersection, we solve the equation of the tangent line, and the equation of the x-axis, that is y equals 0, simultaneously. Substitute y equals 0 into the equation of the tangent line, and isolate x sub 2. So, x sub 2 is equal to, x sub 1 minus f of x sub 1, over f prime of x sub 1. To get x sub 3, do the same process. Find the intersection of the tangent line and x equals x sub 2 with the x-axis. x sub 3 is equal to, x sub 2 minus f of x sub 2, over f prime of x sub 2. So, to get the next estimated value of x, we use the formula, x sub n plus 1 is equal to, x sub n minus f of x sub n, over f prime of x sub n. The steps of finding the root of an equation using the newton raphson method. Step 1, find x sub naught, the initial value of the root of f of x equals 0. Step 2, find first derivative of f of x, and write the formula of newton raphson method. Step 3, compute the next estimate by using the formula. Step 4, stop when there are two consecutive same values. And make the conclusion. Show the equation 2 sin x minus x equals 0, has at least one real root in the closed interval 1 to 2. Use the newton raphson method, to find the solution of the equation 2 sin x minus x equals 0. Give the answer correct to three decimal places. First we have to determine f of x. So, f of x is the expression on the left side of the equation which equal to 0. Substitute x with 1 we have f of 1 equals to 0 0.683, which is greater than 0. Substitute x with 2, we have f of 2 equals to negative 0 0.181, which is less than 0. There is a change of sign. Therefore, there is at least one real root in the closed interval 1 to 2. We can choose any value on the interval as the first approximation. I chose 1.8 as the initial value of the root f prime of x is 2 cosine x minus 1. So, the formula for iteration is x sub n plus 1 equal to x sub n, minus 2 sine x sub n minus x sub n, over 2 cosine x sub n minus 1. So, x sub 1 is equal to 1.8, minus 2 sine 1.8 minus 1.8, over 2 cosine 1.8 minus 1. Enter the function into calculator. Make sure that your calculator is in radian mode when solving equation involving trigonometry. Press calculate 1.8, the answer of x sub 1 is 1 1.9016. Here, I round off the value correct to 4 decimal places. Please take note, 
we must write the intermediate answer correct to more than three decimal places, as required in the question. We don't want to round off too early, because the final answer must be rounded off to three decimal places. Write the formula of x sub 2. Then use your calculator, press calculate answer. x sub 2 is 1.8955. To get x sub 3, press calculate answer. x sub 3 is also 1.8955. We have two consecutive same values. So, we can conclude that, the root is x equals 1.896. Using the newton raphson method, find the real root of x plus 6 equals x raised to the power of 6, given that the root lies between x equals 1 and x equals 2. Give your answer correct to three decimal places. To determine f of x, we have to rewrite the equation, so that it is equal to 0. Here f of x is equal to x to the power of 6 minus x minus 1. We can choose any value between 1 and 2 as the initial value. I chose x sub not equal to 1.2. Then find the first derivative of f of x, and write the formula for iteration. Enter it until we get two consecutive same values. The answer is x equals 1.135. 